Um, so we're going to do a real quick section on scientific notation, and we're going to do some sig figs today, and that's all we're going to look at. Um, so what we're going to do with the, the scientific notation, you've all done it, and you've all used it before, but just so we're all on the same page. Uh, frequently when you're doing these bigger calculations, you're going to be in scientific notation. You just want to keep um, in mind that this first number, the, the number out front, has to be between 1 and 10. If you're not between 1 and 10, you're not in proper scientific notation. So you can't have like 38 times 10 to the 4th or something. Um, your exponent's going to tell you if you're a large number or a small number. Obviously, if your exponent's positive, you're going to be a large number. If you're negative, um, the exponent's negative, you're going to be a smaller number. Um, most of your calculators um, can put things in scientific notation for you. Um, so really, we just want to make sure today that you can put things in your calculator um, to get the right answer. Um, we have a couple of examples down here at the very bottom, just uh, going over, you know, how we put things in. So, like, if you have to put something into scientific notation, you take your decimal wherever it is, and you're going to move it according to either make it um, between 1 and 10. So, this first one, we obviously have to move it uh, to the left. So, we move it 2 to the left, and that means it's going to be 3.50. I can't make my point, sorry. So 3.50 times 10 to the second. And again, this is really sloppy, so I apologize. Um, if we do the, this guy over here, um, we're going to have to move our decimal to the right, and we're going to move it to the right four times. Um, since you're moving it to the right, your exponent gets smaller. Um, it was originally the exponent was nothing, it was zero. So as it gets smaller, you're going to be negative. So this guy in scientific notation is 7.3 times 10 to the negative fourth. And again, you always have your calculator, so it's not like you don't know how to put things in scientific notation, but it's a good idea that you understand what you're, where you're going with this. Um, this guy down here, the 6.87 times 10 to the negative seventh, um, it would actually... You'd be moving your decimal to the left. So what this guy would look like, if I can move this for a second, we'd have six zeros, that's six, and it would be six, eight, seven, because we're taking it out of the scientific notation. And if you see this, um, basically what we did is the decimal used to be here, and it, we moved it seven to the left. This guy over here on the right, um, where obviously it's going to be pretty big, and we have to move the decimal um, 13 times to the right. So it's going to be 3, 2, 1, and then there's going to be 11 zeros. Um, and that's going to be a very large number. So again, if there's a big exponent, you have a big number. If you have a negative exponent, you have a small number. The next two slides you really don't have to do. All I'm going to do is I'm going to give you uh, two of the answers for each slide, and you want to make sure that using your calculator you can get them. Because if you can't, then that means that you're putting it in your calculator wrong. Um, and you're going to have to use a calculator for this class, and you don't want to get a problem wrong because of your calculator. So um, if you actually add or subtract scientific notation by hand, you actually have to make sure they're raised to the same power. If you're using a calculator like most of you are, you don't have to worry about that. So if you put this in your calculator, 6.5 to the fifth uh, plus 4.3 to the fourth, um, and we have it in scientific notation. You don't have to put it in scientific notation, or you can. Uh, this one's going to be 6.93 times 10 to the fifth and it is positive fifth. So just make sure when you put it in your calculator, you can get that answer. If you're, again, like if you're not, you need to see, a, you know, ask a friend or see me just to make sure that you can, we can get it working. So hopefully you have your calculator. Hopefully um, you've put scientific in before and you can get this one. The only other scientific one we'll do, we'll just do one over here. <laughs> we'll do this first one. So we do, here, I'm sorry, that's in the way, 5.5 uh, to the 34th, so obviously that's a really big number, times 2 to the 5th, we should get 1.1 times 10 to the 40th. So again, making sure um, you can get that with your calculator. And then we'll do one more, we'll do a division, just because sometimes people have issues with the division, um, 8.1 to the 75th divided by 9 to the 6th. And we, you should be able to get 9.0 times 10 to the 68th. 
So again, take a minute, just make sure that that's like what you can do. Because um, again, like when you're doing the calculations today, um, that's something you want to make sure. So if you're working in a group, all do the calculation, make sure that you all agree with the answer. Because it's, again, it's going to be points for your lab or for your quiz or for your test. So you just want to make sure you're, you're really there.